thanks for joining another video today. Today we're going on another adventure with Waymo. They recently just opened another program in downtown Phoenix. So we're currently waiting for the Jaguar I-Pace to pick us up. For those that aren't familiar with Waymo, Waymo drives in mapped areas. It uses LiDAR, radar, and cameras. Each area that they drive in is heavily tested and 3D mapped before they allow people to ride in the vehicles. In Arizona, there are currently two cities with the program, Chandler and downtown Phoenix. I will be fast forwarding through some of the less interesting parts where we are just driving in a straight line. This is a fifth generation Waymo driver and is currently in use with the all electric Jaguar I-Pace. The previous videos we had done were with the fourth generation Waymo and the Chrysler Pacifica. So we've got an upgrade in computer as well as car quality. On the corner is a visual of the drive and map. This screen is on the center console in the back for rear passengers. A similar display is up front in the center. Up ahead, we're approaching another stop sign and I'll slow it down here. Everything went smoothly, no hesitations when entering that intersection. Now we are about to approach another stop sign, but it's a little busier here. Crossing traffic has no stop sign, so we have to wait until it's clear to move ahead. We also have people crossing at each direction. I'm going to leave this at normal speed, just so we can see how Waymo handles this. Getting some looks inside the car. Yep, no one's in the driver's seat. We have some people also recording into the vehicle. We might see their version on TikTok. I see they're recording vertically. Oh look, another Waymo. Waymo sees it's safe to proceed. There are vehicles parked on both sides of the street, making this passage a little narrow. Waymo adjusts by moving closer to the right as cars pass by. It does seem a bit shaky. The steering wheel is making some very quick adjustments. It's doing a lot of braking here, moving forward very slightly and braking again. Not too smooth here. All right, finally making that left turn. Another stop sign. Clear to go forward and then don't worry, nothing bad happened, just my camera that died on me. I'll show you the return trip in a second, but for the rest of the trip, I did manage to record some clips of the Waymo's windshield wipers going off, randomly and often. Perhaps the sun is blinding the front camera, or it's just waving hi to the Waymo in front of us. Though I think the camera is housed in the unit on top of the car, so no idea why it's doing this. All right, let's try this again. We have to rehail the Waymo to return. Heading to Fry's Food and Drink. So far, this has been a calm drive. Nothing exciting happened. And that is a good thing as a passenger. There was a little hesitation on this left turn. 
It didn't seem as though we passed the crosswalk as the light turned yellow, but Waymo decided to go for it. That was a little confusing. Speeding through these clips. It's a pretty clear day and no traffic. Slowing down here for a left on green, waiting for the black SUV to pass. I think it took a route that was easier for it. I'm not sure that I would have taken the same route. Waymo is waiting on making this right. A little tough to see oncoming cars from the left side, so Waymo creeps forward a little bit to get a better view. Here's a chance, let's go. I'm actually quite sure at this point that it's prioritizing doing neighborhood driving rather than city street driving. Phoenix's city layout makes it pretty easy to do a minimal number of turns to get to a destination. Making a left turn here. No oncoming cars, so it's clear to go. This road seems pretty unique. One way, pillars down the center, bike lane, and some turning lanes. It slowed down here a bit, cautious to the people on the right. It handled it pretty well. This is the final stretch. Nothing complicated or surprises on the ride today, so just zooming on by. Looks like we're getting close to our destination. We just need to go through a few more stop signs. Overall, not busy today. I mean, this is no downtown San Francisco, 
but maybe next time I should ride it during traffic hour. All right, just a few more traffic lights and then we'll be there. Almost to your drop off. Check the app for walking directions. here you're here please make sure it's clear before exiting thanks Waymo until our next adventure maybe against Tesla when we go on version 11 If you're curious about the price and duration of the trip, here are my receipts.